up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, and uh, I'm really excited to be giving you a beginner slide guitar lesson, kind of an introduction to playing slide. So we're going to zoom in, talk about the techniques and different things that are involved, and just get you going as a starting point. Uh, we put our guitar into open E tuning. I have a video on that. There will be a link for it at the end of this video, uh, so check that out, you know, in case you're uh, wondering how to get your guitar into that open E tuning. Uh, but that's all you need. And then a, a slide. You could be, you know, I use a glass slide because I see that's what, uh, you know, the Allman Brothers used and Derek Trucks and all that. But you could use a metal slide or anything else you've got that you can slide on the guitar. Uh, another thing about it is it does help to raise your action on your guitar, which the action is the string distance from the neck, from the fretboard to uh, the strings. A little more distance between them will, will help because we're not going to be pressing down on the frets. Um, so having another guitar that's dedicated to slide is helpful, but not totally necessary. And the other thing is if you don't want to do that, you could actually use an acoustic guitar to practice slide. And I find that that's really helpful as well, especially if you don't want to raise the action because you only have one electric guitar. And it works on acoustic really nicely. So those are some little options. But uh, anyway, we'll zoom in and uh, start going over it. Real quick, though, I appreciate you subscribing to this Marty Music channel. Um, you know, I really appreciate all that support, and I got a lot of cool videos planned for you. So I can't wait to show you all that stuff as we move along here. But anyway, let's zoom in and start doing this one. Here we go. All right, so we've got our guitar in open E tuning. That's really crucial, and it really helped me a lot. I was kind of... Uh, Never thought I was going to get around to playing slide guitar, and I used to experiment with it. But once I started really focusing on the open E tuning, it really started to uh, to help and, and open things up for me. So the open E tuning, I think, will really, really help. And the thing about that, I also have the action raised on the guitar, which you can see there. Han approves. Um, and so we've got the, the action raised a bit because with the slide, we don't want to press all the way down onto the fret. We want, we want the, we don't want the strings pressing up. We want it, the slide to be touching the strings, but at the same time, not pressing down on the fret. So that's a the first little part of a beginner slide technique. The other thing about open E tuning is it's just kind of like that E shaped bar chord, but now with a slide. So the, the way I like to start experimenting is taking like a, a basic chord progression of major chords and then sliding the slide around to just start to get the feeling of, of what that feels like. So I took the chords from, uh, from Hendrix's Hey Joe, which are C major to G major, and, and the root on the E string still stays the same like a bar chord or a power chord. So if I move my slide up to the, the eighth fret, then that's a C major chord. And then I go down to the third fret and that's a G major chord. And then I go up to the 10th fret and it's a D chord. And then I go to the fifth fret and it's an A chord and then back to the G and then open E. And the fun thing about the E is that you have the open E and then you have all the way up to the double dots, the 12th fret, is E again, so. And I'm using my fingers because uh, an, a real art to the slide guitar, as you get more advanced, is that you're muting all the strings with your hand that you don't want to hear. So when you get into the single notes, So I was muting, you know, when I'm playing the D string, my thumb is muting the E and the A, and then the rest of my fingers, I'm using my pointer finger to hit the D string, but the rest of my fingers are kind of, the rest of my fingers are muting the other strings. So I'm kind of muting with my thumb, and you'll see Derek Trucks do that as he moves down. You know, when he's playing the, the, the high E string, his thumb is resting against the other strings to mute it. For, for right now, we want to get, uh, you know, a little left hand technique 
and a little right hand technique. This is, you know, our introduction to it. So um, now I already talked about a lot so far, but let's get to that C major chord, which is the eighth fret. So a trick is with the slide guitar, we don't, you know, we don't play in the middle of the fret. Because you can hear all the microtonal changes because there's no frets anymore. It's fretless. Slide guitar is basically fretless. We use the frets, however, though, to mark how to play a note or a chord in tune or in key. And so if I'm shooting for the eighth fret, then I'm going to line the eighth fret. You know, so here's the eighth fret and then the metal fret right there, I'm almost thinking of that as like going straight through the middle of my ring finger. So we want the slide to be lined perfectly up with the actual metal fret. So we have the eighth fret, the slide's going to line up right on top of it. And what you want to do is press down enough to where you hear all the notes ring out. You got to put a little pressure on it. So notice you hear that kind of um, rattling sound. And that's the sound most people get when they first start messing with it. That's okay. That's all right. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Snap out of it. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, so here's the next little piece of it. We want to get the, have it right above. And when I'm just using the finger of the slide, it really buzzes and rings out a lot. So what ends up happening, what we want to do to get a clean tone, is you see I've got my middle finger and my index finger behind the slide. What I'm doing is I'm lightly touching the strings, and it's like a little buffer. So I'm still giving it a, a quite, a, you know, enough pressure on the slide, but the fingers behind it. So I've seen some guys use their middle finger only, and some guys use their index only. I'm kind of have them both behind. So that's the next little thing that we want to start trying to do is buffer the strings behind the slide and slide into that eighth fret. Now let's go to the third fret. Now let's go to the tenth fret. Then go to the fifth fret. Then the third fret. And you can kind of slide it from three to two into the open. And then from any spot, slide up to the twelfth fret. So everything I was doing there, these two fingers were touching the strings behind. And it sounds good, a good technique is sliding up, you know, sliding into the chord. Sliding back is a little harder. Sliding up to it sounds 
sounds good, and that's what I'd recommend you starting with. So eighth fret, third fret, tenth fret, fifth fret, three, oh, twelve, twelve. Again. do the blues changes go to the fifth fret seven five three oh okay so you just want to start messing around with it. Now here's something to work on is take a chord like that C chord, but now try this. We're going to just play the G string with our index finger. And so that means we'll be muting the E, A, and D with our thumb. And then with my uh, middle finger and ring finger, I'm muting the uh, B and high E. So all we're going to hear is this G. <laughs> See, everything's muted but that G. And then now, let's see if we can start getting clean single notes from that same progression. Now let's do the same thing, but scoot our hand up and do the same chords, but just be able to hit the D string, which has actually been tuned up to an E note. So with my thumb now, I'm muting the E and A, and then with my middle and ring finger, I'm kind of coming over and muting the G, B, and high E, like that. And I'm, see that? And I'm actually, it's almost like a claw. And so I even have my pinky kind of grabbing onto the high E to mute it. So all I'm hearing is the D string with my, the tip of my index finger. I can go through those same chords. Oh, C, sorry. A, three, ten. Five, three, just start experimenting. You could do your thumb rest across all of them and right to the B string and then we're just hitting the high E and you can do that. And then if you're brave, you can try and add a little vibrato. Or the just the B string, etc. Muting everything down to the G with my thumb 
middle finger muting the high E, index hitting the B. And then eventually, you'll start to use your thumb on the next string down, and you'll start to do a technique with your thumb and index finger. But we're going to save that for the next step. So to recap, we've got the open E tuning. So that means now any fret that my slide's on would be just like a major chord with that E shape. E major, D major, C major, B major, A major, G major, E major. And so start messing around with chord progressions that you can slide up and down, and we're buffering or muting, lightly muting the strings with our middle finger and index finger, one or the other or both, behind the slide to buffer it and to stop that heavy buzzing. So that's the other thing. And then the, the final step would be to, to do the same thing with the chords, but pick out single notes of the chord and mute all the other strings so you start getting that technique because in the beginning there's a whole left hand technique but then there's also a very specific right hand technique and you have to kind of uh, deconstruct what you're working on so sometimes you're focused on that sometimes you're focused on this part sometimes you're focused on it all together um, and so you put that and you keep going and it sounds bad at first and it sounds a little better and then a little better and then a little better etc. All right, there was a nice starting point for you. I hope you learned something. Uh, at the end of this video, there's going to be a link uh, for the open E tuning. So be sure to check that out. And uh, hopefully uh, you can start ripping on the slide guitar. I got more slide videos coming up. So be sure to look out for those here at uh, Marty Music at this YouTube channel. Uh, anyway, thanks again for the support and we'll see you real soon.